All right, before I talk about the Aquaman movie, I know it's dark because I've been here for a couple of hours working on videos for you guys. Uh, what do I have to talk about? The Aquaman movie was amazing. It was everything I knew about Aquaman. I didn't know much about Aquaman, but it was it was really interesting to watch. It was really interesting. Now, this movie was amazing. This was it was incredible. The effects, the CGI, everything was perfect and the plot was good too. I had to go to another movie theater, not AMC, because AMC is the only place where I go for movie theaters. Studio Movie Grill, not so much. My ears hurt. My ears and head hurt from their surround sound, man. Like, also, anyway, let's talk about the movie. Spoilers, if you didn't see the movie, you should go watch it now before you watch this video, okay? Anyway, let's begin. Uh, what else? What do I have to say about this movie? Oh, uh, okay. First, this was a very happy story. The romance between Aquaman's, between Arthur's mother and his father was amazing. It was really cool. Ah, oh, man, this was, it was beautiful. It was amazing. But we'll get into that later. Um, and it's kind of like the same plot. From, it's kind of like the same plot, but different. You know, like Justice League. Uh, uh, Throne of Atlantis, I think. Yeah. Kind of like Throne of Atlantis. But it was way different. Orm, a.k.a. Ocean Master... wants to take over the sea obviously uh, wants to take over the take over Atlantis and he'll do everything in his power to attack the surface world anything meaning meaning killing killing a fish man into killing a fish man into um in, into making making their army join him. Oh my goodness! And like just like in Throne of Atlantis, he planted a submarine. He planted a submarine attack in this. Like he told Black Manta to that submarine from the beginning of the movie. Yeah, that was used. That was used to, um, that was used to, to, um, attack Orm and Mera's father while they were negotiating. I can't believe he would do that. I, I had a feeling it was him because it was, it reminded me of the story in that. This was, a, this was real, man. Um, also, uh, what else, um, what else is there? Oh, I knew they were going to hook up, like, not hook up, hook up, I'm talking about, like, kiss or something. I'm talking about, um, Arthur and Mera, because in the comics, they're both king and queen, and they're both husband and wife. Now, I'm waiting for them to have a baby. <laughs> For them to have a baby. Oh, man. Oh. Whoever. Amber Hurt, I think, did a great job as Mara. And uh, Jason Momoa did an excellent job as, as Arthur Curry. Right. And it's just everything was good. Everything was perfect. I don't know why it said 68%. Even though it was at 78, I think. I don't get it. Why was it... Why is it at 68? It was a... It's a very good movie. And I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed 
Droid Aquaman. Also, Black Manta. This was this this guy really wanted Aquaman so bad because if you guys don't know the origin of of why Black Manta hates Aquaman, because because in the comics he I think there was a misunderstanding or something I don't know but in the comics Aquaman well Arthur killed Arthur killed Black Manta's father. Because Black Manta's father killed... Because Black Manta killed his father. Or Black Manta's father killed... Or Black Manta's father killed... Arthur's father. And Arthur... Killed... Him. I don't know, the whole story's... I don't know, but I don't... I don't I'm, I'm either right on either of those. But... Black Manta's father killed Aquaman's father, but Aqu and then Aquaman killed his and killed the guy who did it, which was Black Manta's father. Now I get, now it makes sense, and that's why he wanted revenge on him so bad. Makes sense because and also in the comics he killed a little child. Yeah, yeah, that's dark. I hope they don't do that in the movie. Please let them make a sequel to this. This is actually a pretty good movie. I don't see why people always hating, hating on the DC Cinematic Universe. Yes, there's Marvel Cinematic Universe, but the DC Cinematic Universe? This was... This is good. This was good. This was really good. And the way they did Atlantis... Like, during back in the times of like an ancient they didn't use technology well they kind of did and now they use technology and they use and they put water or some kind of slime they put water or some kind of slime in their guns you don't even have to reload <laughs> you don't have to reload uh, if it's water then if if it if it only loads on water, then then you won't have to reload, unless you do. It's like a squirt gun, but this was a great movie, and I really and I really suggest that you guys watch it too. And the and that giant creature that was protecting the golden trident, that was awesome. It's like a crab that mixed with an octopus octopus sort of thing I don't know um this was really good this is a really good movie I, I suggest you all should watch it too oh man I really like the DC Cinematic Universe and you guys should too okay and I'm hoping and I'm yes I'm hoping Shazam is good too and Wonder Woman 1984. Is there anything else? I think I'm good. But, <laughs> excuse me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys... Oh, anyway. I give Aquaman... A 10 out of 10. Because it, it had so much... It had so much to... So much to do. Oh, almost forgot about the wife. So, it turns out Arthur's mother was sacrificed to the trench. If you guys don't know what the trench are, if you should look them up in the comics. They're like these giant piranha type people. They're like giant piranha creatures. They are scary. Oh, and to warn you guys, there are a lot of jump scares in this one. Like, out of nowhere... Even at the beginning of the movie, there was they were just boom. <laughs> this was really good, and uh, I don't know, but this was really good movie. Me, and at the and then we find out that his mother was really alive, but at the Earth's core, and the Trident was in the Earth's core too, of course. 
And that's where that giant thing was too. And when and when when and when Arthur's mother and f and father finally reunite, they were it was very beautiful. It was so cool. But but I but I really thought she died. It was a plot twist. Like this person had all this stuff on 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 his, on itself like bones and stuff and I thought she was taking off the mask and it's revealed to be Arthur's mother ah oh, man what else oh when they said that she was executed by the trench I really thought she, yeah I said that but I really thought she died because the person that she was forced married that was that was to, that was to be forced to married into he just he got jealous because he because she breeded a breed a half a half breed. If you guys don't know what a half breed is, basically basically it's half human, half Atlantean, or any type of creature. Half human, half something else, or anything else. So anyway, um, I give as I said, I give this movie ten out of ten. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, go hit the notification button next to the subscribe button.